All right, people. We are back at it again with another fishing video. I am about to start wading in another small river. This is one that I've fished in a different spot in an earlier video this year. And I wanted to come back here, give it another shot, do some wading. I um, really, really haven't waded this river in a while. And I really came down here with uh, three specific goals today. And the main one is to try out a new bait. And that bait, the bait in question is these guys right here. This is a Euro Tackle EPF Swim. This is like a finesse soft plastic very small one inch swim bait and you know this is called the epf swim if you don't know who epf is you know if you haven't watched a lot of fishing youtube maybe you don't but um you know he's one of the uh this epf stands for extreme philly fishing you know it's one of the more uh interesting uh fishing channels out there in my opinion you know the guy's uh, very uh, scientific kind of like a multi-species life lister um, type of angler which is kind of uncommon on the platform um, so he really goes out there and tries to catch as many species as possible but um, he likes to do this you know a lot of this ultralight fishing with very small baits like the one that I just showed you you know wading in creeks and rivers definitely a good channel to check out if you haven't already you can learn a lot about fishing um, by watching him you know very scientific channel but anyway that's our primary goal today um is to try these little, these little baits out i'm pretty confident that they're gonna work i've got a pack of pink and a pack of white a bit of a more natural tone um so yeah that's the main goal today is see what we can catch on the epf swim um i'm pretty confident that it's gonna work you know these small jig these small plastics on a little jig head are about as reliable as you can get when it comes to fishing uh you know artificial lures in terms of just going out there and catching something right you don't have not necessarily going to catch a specific species on them or a really big fish but you certainly can i mean i've caught fish you know big fish on these little baits before uh, not this exact one of course but you know similar size soft plastics um another thing you know this river i guess our our, our secondary goal today is to catch a spotted bass a decent sized spotted bass out of here this is one of the few rivers in my area that has them you know i caught one spotted bass earlier this year but it was pretty small so hoping to run into a couple of you know fish at least in like the 10 to 12 inch range or bigger um ideally that would be nice to catch a few in that size um so kind of a rarer species of bass uh, in my area so that's goal number two is to catch some decent sized spotted bass and then goal number three of the day is since we're using this small bait and i think at this point you know i'm planning on trying to stick with the epf swim for the majority of the day unless we really just aren't catching decent sized fish on it but i think we have a chance of doing that with the epf swim but it's to catch uh, five different species on uh five different species today ideally on the epf swim um yeah, this this um this river does have a lot of different species, you know, fall fish, bluegill, largemouth, smallmouth, uh, red breast sunfish. So I think we have a decent chance of fulfilling that goal as well. You know, as you probably noticed by now, in the summertime, I really do prefer to do some wading in a small river. That's my preferred mode of summer fishing. Um, I think you just have a better chance of catching fish. In that environment in the summer when it's hot out you know that moving water it's going to be a little more oxygenated than like a pond or a lake and i feel like it doesn't get quite as hot as still water you know obviously you can have good fishing in those areas too if you go early in the morning or late in the evening but you know my schedule usually my fishing is going to take place in the afternoon so I feel like that's kind of my preference, but you know, I've been running my mouth for almost five minutes now and we haven't even wet lines. So you never know until you throw. So let's go.
There's a fish. There's a little bass. Not a spotted bass though, this is just a little large mouth. First fish of the day here. All right, check him out, people. He's not big, but probably like a seven or eight inch bass here. Got a little stomach on him though, so he's been eating all right. Let's get a picture of this guy and send him on back. First fish of the day, large mouth bass. First species and first fish. You know, this uh, specific access point, I uh, tried to fish earlier in the year and it was too turbid. A little bit too high for me to want to want to uh, keep going here and but honestly this river just tends to run a little bit more uh, muddy than some of the others so it could be a factor here today let's send this guy back thanks fish appreciate you just casting into the shade lines here hoping maybe there's a bass just kind of resting there's a fish or nope, stick. Just a stick. It's also expecting the water to be clearer. Uh, but that doesn't mean we can't figure out a solution to that. It just wasn't, it's kind of unanticipated. There's a fish. Good one. Ooh, nice fight. Looks like a bass. Maybe a fall fish. No, it's a bass. Wow. That was just a straight retrieve into the current. Is it a smallmouth? There's lots of different bass species in here, so I think it's a smallmouth. Decent smallmouth. Okay. Okay, we're making progress, people. This is a good fish for the ultralight. Dude, nice fight. Wow, he's mad. He's mad at us. Wow, powerful fish here. Not that big, but on the ultralight, it feels very good. Come here, buddy. We got you. Oh, yeah. Nice smallmouth. Nice smallmouth. All right, let's take a look at this fish, get him unhooked. Yeah, we were just winding that thing in the current, letting that tail do its thing, and boom, we got a decent fish. Uh, trying to find a place to unhook him without getting in a bunch of poison ivy. I mean, I don't really get poison ivy too badly, but still not a great thing to have around during the de-hooking. Got him right in the side of the jaw. Anyway, check that fish out, people. That's a nice, nice smallmouth bass here. Probably 11, maybe 10 inches. Beautiful fish. Wouldn't mind running into a few of these today. I'm gonna get a picture of this guy and send him back. Nice smallmouth. That was very, uh, very encouraging. To get that catch i am going to need a new bait though i'm surprised that tail got bitten off that easily guess uh these aren't the most durable baits out there but if we caught this fish it's got to be pretty good so let's get a picture of the smallmouth bass and send it back we're at two species now two out of five that's our goal five species smallmouth and largemouth all right fish appreciate you we'll send you back We'll send you back. Thank you very much, Mr. Smallmouth. We're on a completely different river entirely now. Um, I tried to go to a different access point on the river we were at before, see if there was an area where it was maybe a little clearer, but there really wasn't. And I just wasn't feeling safe 
waiting in that murky water. You know, we've, like I said, we wound up almost messing up some of our recording gear. I mean, it might still be messed up. If this video doesn't get published, you'll know why. Um, so we're at a different river. And we're just gonna see if we can find any fish. Still gonna try to use the EPF swim, but this river does not have spotted bass. So that goal is kind of done for for the day. There's a lot of people out here, people wading, people fishing, people in boats and all sorts of rigmarole, so. There's a fish on the first cast, something tiny. Baby red breast. First cast with EPF swim. There he is, probably the smallest one this year. Three inches on a good day. See you little fella. God, you're kidding me, let's turn it off. There's a fish. Another tiny red breast. So far, just little guys at this new river on the EPF swim. Appreciate you, little guy. It's better than nothing. Not much better than nothing, but it's still better than nothing. There's a fish. Still tiny. Just tiny fish. Here's a fish. Slightly bigger red breast, but... Still pretty small. Like a four incher. Hopefully we can weed out some of these little fish and find some nicer ones. See you little guy. All right, people, I'm giving up. This has been a horrible day of fishing. Just catching dinks. My line's been getting tangled constantly, constantly getting snagged, getting drowned out by trains. I've had enough today. I'm gonna make my way back to the vehicle. I've got this little jerk bait tied on, a little chrome jerk bait. Don't really expect to catch anything else on it, but just something that we can kind of cast while we uh, move back up to the car, because. Today has just been one problem after another. Here's a fish. I actually put up a little fight. It's a bluegill. 
Okay, well that's fourth species of the day. That one actually put up a little bit of a fight. I thought I had a bass on at first. I sure did. Not big or anything, but a little micro jerk bait. Getting some fish. A little, little bluegill. Thanks, guy. Take it easy out there. Appreciate you. All right, people, we're going to go ahead and call it. Um, you know, honestly, today was tough. Um, a lot of frustrating stuff happening. You know, we had to switch spots, which I really don't like to do most of the time. Uh, just getting snagged a bunch. Line tangles constantly for some reason. And, you know, I think this GoPro, you know, got a little damage as well, water damage. So that's also frustrating. Probably gonna have to get a new camera. We caught four species today, only one decent sized fish near that smallmouth from the first river on that EPF swim. You know, we did give that lure a, a decent test today and it wasn't, didn't blow me away, but it definitely works. I mean, you can't deny that. Um, so, anyway, this, I know this probably isn't uh, gonna be the most exciting video I've ever posted, but uh, you know, sometimes I wanna share these tough days and, cause uh, you know, that's, that's keeping it realistic. You know, just every day isn't gonna be amazing. You're gonna have problems, you're gonna have mishaps. Stuff's gonna get messed up. You're gonna snag. But uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this one. This was a challenging one for me, for sure. Take it easy.